Hey, welcome to Now100FM.com. It's Doug Lacey backstage at the Sleep Train Arena with these guys, DNCE. So you guys have like the one of uh, one of the most requested songs on Now 100.5 right now. Everybody wants to hear cool. "Cake by the Ocean." Cool. People love this song. First of all, what the hell does "Cake by the Ocean" mean? Well, it means a few things. Okay. For us, we were working with the producers from Sweden, and they were confusing the drink "Sex on the Beach" with "Cake by the Ocean," and from there, we just wrote the song. Gotcha. And did you guys, when you were writing this song, like I know you've been in, in the in the music biz for a long time. When you were writing this song, did you think, oh my god, this is going to be as big as it ended up being? I think you have hopes, but you never yeah. know. The expectations are low. You just kind of go with the punches, and for us, we just are having a blast. The fact that it worked out the way we hoped it would, we're really happy. It's so good. Like I like said, everyone's so excited to hear you guys. By the way, opening for Selena Gomez tonight is going to be an insane show. Has she heard your guys' cover of... Uh, uh, hands to myself because I talked to her about a week and a half ago and she hadn't heard it up to oh, that point. Oh, so I'm not sure. I thought you guys killed it though. Thanks, man. Yeah, really I don't good. know. I don't know. We haven't we haven't heard from her if she's heard it or not. But we've heard a lot of people and their reactions have been really overwhelming and good. And so we're honestly just thrilled to know that the audience out there is into it. And Joe, I know you and Selena have been friends for a really long time. Some of these pictures that we're seeing online from the Revival Tour, you know, like the first couple stops, Selena Gomez is like pretty much birthday suited up out there on stage, like from the pictures, which is in the glass and stuff. Is that awkward for you as her friend? You guys go no, back so I long? it's fine. I mean, I think okay. like everybody grows up and she's a good looking girl. And yeah. Um, we're just happy for us to be on the road and traveling and playing these shows. Gotcha. So, okay, so have you guys heard the news that uh, Ozzy and Sharon split up? Yes. Have you guys met Ozzy and Sharon? Do you guys um, know them personally? I've met Sharon and met Ozzy once before. Though. You guys, I've met Ozzy and met Sharon. Do you guys, like, does it, because, like, out of everybody in Hollywood, they've been together for so long, you know what I mean? So when you see them call it quits, you know, this wasn't like a 72-day marriage or something yeah. like that. When you see them call it quits, do you, like, do you guys think love is dead? Like, seriously, like, they've been together for so no long. No way, dude. You know? Uh, I think how we feel is that's their business and Ozzy rules. Yeah, absolutely. So who do you think would do the best cover of Cake by the Ocean out of the presidential candidates? Bernie Sanders, Hillary Clinton, or Donald Trump? Who do you think would kill it, Cake by the Ocean? I think we're going for Bernie. Bernie. Yeah. Phil DeBurn? You know he was just here in Sacramento yesterday. I didn't know that. Huge rally. Yeah, you guys missed him by one day. He would probably be here at the show, I think, if he could. <laughs> All right, so um, I heard you guys are doing like Prince covers while you're on the road. So this is like your like your tribute to Prince, right? So are you guys going to be doing any tonight here in Sacramento? I think you you could look out for one. Yeah. Okay. You know Sweet. we we uh, we're huge fans of Prince. Uh, everything he did, uh, his just an entire world of art. He was like a, a universe into himself, and we were playing uh, covers of him. You know, for over a year now. So wow. you know we left it in the set because as a tribute, but uh, we're we're just huge fans. Awesome. Okay, so you guys were doing covers before. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow, how cool. That's amazing. All right, Madeline and Antelope wants to know, are you guys cat kind of people or dog kind of people? We're dog dogs. kind. Yeah, I think dogs. we're both. Uh, yeah, we're both. I'm both. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're both. All right. Yeah, I love Kylie in Orangeville wants to know, uh, so what direction is going to be on Family Guy this weekend? If you guys could be in any animated show, what would it be? Probably yeah. South Park. Yeah, South Park. I think South Park is the OG on that. What about you? I'm very fan of Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon, yeah. like the anime. Yeah, so okay. There you go. Jackie and Davis wants to know, will you guys, because <laughs> you guys color your hair a lot. There's a lot of like creative hairstyles going on. Will you guys color your hair and does the carpet match the drapes? Of course. Yeah. Oh, if you dye your hair, you gotta dye it down there too. Okay, so it's you know, all around. You guys don't do that? <laughs> Nobody does that? That's weird. Leah.af wants to know, what'd you guys go watch last night in the movie theaters? Oh, yeah. Oh, I guess just um, how did she know that? That's weird. Social uh, media we, talking. We went to see <laughs> the Huntsman, the Winter, the Winter's thumbs War. up, thumbs down. It's pretty good. Yeah, it did his job. It entertained us. All right. Uh, Jesus follower wants to know, Joe, what do you like the most and least about touring? Um, the most, you get to see all these amazing fans from all these different cities, and you're playing arenas, so you see the most amount that you can. Um, the least, I mean, you don't get a lot of sleep, but that's not really a bad thing. Um, and you know, sometimes you want your own bed, but we're kind of used to it, and like we live out of suitcases anyway, so touring is, is good for us. And those tour buses bunks are perfect, puts us right to sleep. And you guys are like, I've seen like, you know, you guys do your thing, you're just like legit family. We're family, oh, yeah. yeah. Like these guys seem to, <laughs> these guys seem to be as close to you as like your brothers maybe, you know? Oh yeah, we're yeah. family. <laughs> but they're smelling armpits, you know it's family. 
All right, so uh, Victoria wants to know: Did you did you expect to go back to music, or was forming the band something that happened like kind of sudden? Did it just kind of? Um, it took a lot of thinking. It didn't happen overnight for all of us. We we were, we were all doing certain things and trying to figure out our next path, and right. we kind of just fell into each other's lives at the perfect time. Awesome, and the rest is history, huh? Uh, Taxi Mom wants to know, Joe, she said that your brother Nick said that you're a messy roommate because you guys live together now. Is that true or false? Uh, I'm pretty clean. I don't know what he's talking about. I gotcha. mean, there's, there's times I'll be messy, but the majority I'm pretty clean. Taxi Mom. Taxi Mom, that's her name. Kaylani wants to know, do you guys do any pre-show rituals? If so, what are they? Yeah, we, uh, we have a lot of them. Uh, we put on some, like, early 2000s mediocre alternative rock. Nice. And do interpretive <laughs> dance and some aerobics and some Are you gonna drop any names arts. like a Chumbawamba or what? You know, I mean, Nickelback's <laughs> always a part of it. Uh, awesome. And yeah, and we just get loose and have a couple drinks and get ready to, to give everything out there. I love it, we can't wait to see the show tonight. All right, so a couple more questions. DNC promo team wants to know, is it true the album's gonna be called Body Moves and will that song be on the album? Because there's a lot of speculation about the album. Got it. Um, we haven't named the album yet, so okay. that's that's news to us, so that's not true. Okay. But uh, Body Moves will definitely be on the album. Gotcha. Whatever the name happens to be. Yeah, whatever the name happens right. to be, Body Moves will be there. Cool, so I think we got most of them out, Thanks, you guys. guys. So what do you guys want to tell your number one fans in Sacramento, the ones who are going to be here tonight cheering you guys on, the ones who are going to be here tonight more excited to see you guys than Selena on stage? Like, what do you want to tell them for all the support and all the love? Thank you. Yeah, thank you. We love you. And uh, if you stop screaming for one second, we'll be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> DNCE.